If you are looking for an AI tool that quickly summarizes research papers and answers your questions, then this video is for you. Here I will share two most popular AI summarizers, SciSpace and SciSummary along with their side-by-side -side comparison of their features, summarization capabilities, advantages and limitations. This will help you determine which one is better for you. Additionally, their best buying links and discount codes are being provided in the description allowing you to save more. If you want to learn more about these tools in detail, you can check out their dedicated videos which are linked in the description below. So let's begin. First about SciSpace. It is a comprehensive AI research assistant that helps you find, read, understand and write research papers more efficiently. To summarize research papers, it has an extract data feature where you can upload PDFs and get instant summaries. SciSummary on the other hand is a dedicated AI assistant for summarizing research papers and extracting key insights from them. It offers multiple options including single document summarization, bulk summarization, multi-article summarization and comparison between articles. Now let's try summarizing a few papers using both these tools. Here I am uploading PDFs of three research papers related to bamboo growth to each platform. Once the papers are uploaded, they are reflected in the library. Along with the PDF uploads, both the tools also offers the option to add papers directly from Zotero's library. For those who do not know what Zotero is, it is an amazing and free to use reference management tool. You can check out my dedicated video linked in the description to learn more about it. SciSummary also has additional options to upload directly via their official links or PubMed IDs which can be quite helpful. SciSpace displays summaries of all the papers in a tabular format. You can customize the columns to show only the desired summaries. For example, TLDR, conclusions and summarized abstracts. You can also select several more summarization options which will be immediately reflected in the table. If you want, you can customize the columns to get only the information you need. Overall, SciSpace is quite easy to use and you get all the summaries in one place without switching between the different tabs. Once done, you can export the summaries in different formats. You also receive an email notification when the summary is ready. SciSummary also displays all the papers in tabular format. You can select all the papers and choose from various summarization options. For example, individual summaries, bulk summaries, compare papers or get a compiled summary of multiple papers. SciSpace does not offer the last two options. When you bulk summarize, you can also choose to summarize by section, summarize with a specific area of focus, highlight key points and more. You can choose the summary length to be shorter or longer, which is not a feature in SciSpace. Both the tools can generate summaries in different languages, which is helpful if you are a non-native English speaker. The generated bulk summaries can be read individually by clicking here. Or if you wish to view them all at once in a tabular format, simply go to My Documents under Library. If you want short summaries, section-wise summaries, key points or opportunities for future research, you can generate them and they will be reflected in the table. Size Summary provides an option to download all the summaries in PDF format. Another unique feature of Size Summary is that it helps you compare multiple articles, their sections or a specific area of focus at once, which you may not find directly in the size space. This is how it compares multiple articles. Both SciSpace and SciSummary provides options to chat with individual or multiple papers at once. This is really helpful and can save a lot of your time searching for specific information. For example, here I have asked the same question about the major factors governing the fast growth of bamboo to both the tools. Here is the response from SciSpace. It goes through each of the paper and provide a relevant answer within seconds along with the papers it referred. So it is quite simple and easy to use. Size summary, on the other hand, additionally provides the specific section of the paper and its page number relevant to the question asked. Along with this, it also gives a confidence score to the generated answers, which gives size summary an edge over size space. Size space is an option to take down notes separately. But if you want to take notes alongside the individual paper, size summary provides an option for that. This makes note taking a lot more organized in size summary. Both the tools SciSpace and SciSummary have browser extension that seamlessly integrates in the supported browsers. With the browser extension installed, you can import the paper PDF to the SciSummary library. On the other hand, SciSpace provides three options 
to save the paper to the library, find related papers and chat with the papers to summarize and get answers while you search papers on the journal website. Using SciSpace, you can get explanation for selected text, terms, mathematical equations or tables and summarize them. For example, here I ask you to explain a section from abstract of the paper. You can see it has explained in simple terms what the text suggests. Similarly, I have asked you to explain the R square value. SciSpace has provided its definition, purpose and has also given an example which makes understanding articles very easy. Using SciSummary, you can get explanations for a single term or expand on a specific text given in the summary but not the entire document. You can also chat with the document to get an explanation. However, the unique feature of size summary is that it can even explain figures which I did not find in size space. Coming on to one of the most interesting features of size summary and size space. Using size summary, you can listen to the summaries and even download them allowing you to listen when you cannot read. On the other hand, using podcast option of size space, you can listen to the summaries as conversation between two people. This makes it very easy to understand papers. Let's dive in. I'm eager to hear about this. What makes Moza Bamboo's growth? To conclude, if you are looking for a dedicated AI tool that excels in generating in-depth research summaries, comparing papers and their specific sections and analyzing figures, all at affordable price, size summary can be a great option for you. On the other hand, if you are looking for an all-in-one AI tool for literature review, summarizing articles, writing research papers, providing citations, generating video summaries from PDFs, then SciSpace would be a better choice. You can try it out for free, but for unlimited access and premium features, you will need an upgrade. You can use my affiliate link given in the description to get discounts over it. Thus, depending upon your needs and preferences, you can choose between these tools. I hope this video has helped you compare the features and capabilities of both the AI tools so that you can make informed decisions. You can check out my other useful videos on AI tools that can make your academic journey a lot easier. Comment below if you want me to create more videos like this. Thanks and I will see you in my next video.